writing an argumentative essay, uh, one of the things that you need to do to make your essay effective is to put in logical reasoning. And there are two primary types of reasoning that you're usually going to see in an argumentative essay or any paper that really is trying to favor a position. And what those are are inductive reasoning and deductive reasoning. And both have their uses. Um, inductive reasoning is often characterized as moving from the specific to the general. Uh, that's kind of an oversimplification, but it is true that when you're using inductive reasoning, you're starting with specific examples and you're putting those examples together to get a general conclusion. And so the typical pattern of inductive reasoning uh, that you're going to see is where the writer is going to present a bunch of examples of something. And then basically add them together to come up with a conclusion. So inductive reasoning is a little bit fuzzy. Um, when you're doing inductive reasoning, um, the quality of your conclusion is highly dependent on the examples you use to start off with. So if you have very high quality examples, that's going to strengthen your conclusion. Um, also, if you have a good quantity of examples, if you have a large number of examples, um, the more examples you have, the more solid your conclusion is going to be. So inductive reasoning, as I said, it's a little bit fuzzy. It's more flexible. Uh, this is probably the most common kind of reasoning that you do see in things like essays. Uh, you will see a lot of inductive reasoning where people bring in examples and use those examples to prove some conclusion. Now, deductive reasoning is sort of the opposite. Um, it's often known as moving from the general to the specific. Again, that's a bit of a simplification. But in deductive reasoning, you start with a general idea or principle, and then you're going to apply that to a specific situation. And then once you've got that, you come to a conclusion. And so <clears throat> when you're doing deductive reasoning, it's more mathematically certain. Um, the chief element of deductive reasoning is known as the syllogism. And the syllogism has a very specific mathematical kind of structure. Um, if you've ever taken a math class like geometry, where you have to do proofs, that's the basically what a syllogism is. It's a mathematical type of proof. Uh, the the uh, formula for a syllogism, and this is going to seem a bit abstract at first, but it'll come clear in a minute. I'll show you. Uh, the syllogism uh, starts out, all of A is B. This is what's known as our major premise, which is to say this is the general principle that we're starting with. That's our major premise. Now we bring in a specific example and we say C is A. That is our minor premise. So that is our specific situation. So those are the two premises we start with. And then we take these two premises and we add them together. We say, therefore, 
And these three little dots, by the way, that's mathematical ease for therefore. And that's one of the things when you're looking for deductive reasoning, look for a therefore that's going to be sort of hinging on your premises. And so we say if all A is B and C is A, therefore C is B. So that's our conclusion. Now, the classic syllogism, this is looking abstract, I know. Uh, we can apply it now. Um, the classic syllogism is all men are mortal. So that's our major premise. That's our general idea that we're looking at. All men are mortal. So now, we want our minor premise. Our minor premise is going to be the specific example, Socrates is a man. So that's our minor premise. Now if we add the major premise and the minor premise together, we get, therefore, Socrates is mortal. Now, deductive reasoning is much more mathematically solid than inductive reasoning. In deductive reasoning, um, your conclusion is absolutely, positively going to be true, provided your premises are true that you start with. But if the premises are true that you start with, then your conclusion absolutely has to be 100% ironclad true. So it's much more solid than the inductive reasoning. Uh, it's also not as commonly found in things like essays. So both kinds of reasoning are good, depending on your situation. If you have something where you can prove this nice logical formula, that's going to be rock solid. Uh, if you have a bunch of examples, uh, that can still be a very solid argument. You just have to make sure that your examples are both good in quantity and in quality that you can come to your conclusion. So when you are reading an argumentative essay, one of the things you're going to want to do is look for both of these kinds of reasoning. And if you're writing an essay, it's a very good idea as you're writing to be thinking about making sure uh, that whatever kind of reasoning you're using is something that's going to bring your reader to a good, reliable conclusion.